Hi guys, it's uh, Hazard Syndrome here proxying for Templar's Crusade on the video as he is um, indisposed with a bad back, Hello. can't actually move <laughs> off the beanbag. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, what we have for you today guys is the second Night Lords game in the Great Crusades. Um, if my memory is correct, and I apologise if it isn't, we're on the world of Daramar and we're fighting against the independent human faction. So the mission that we've got for today, which was written by, uh, by Templar, is um, basically the thousand points of Night Lords plus the Primarch versus 1500 slash 2000 points, depending on how well the game goes, of uh, the independent humans uh, on a big old city board. So lots of terrain there with an avenue left up the middle to act as a road. And uh, in this particular uh, game variant, every player turn, we roll a d6, and I believe it's on a six, although I'm possibly wrong on that, um, on, a, on a specific dice result, which I will have looked up and tell you in a minute, uh, we get to collapse a piece of terrain. And whoever's in that terrain at the time takes some, uh, takes some damage from that. So it should be a pretty brutal game. Uh, so we've got, obviously, my Night Lords lining up along here against the independent human faction who were played today by Matt. Hey guys. Uh, what was the actual result for the destroying buildings? It's on a three up. Three up. Three up we get to smash a building and um, spank whoever's in it. So uh, for this game um, I won the dice roll to deploy first uh, which means uh, for the rules of this Matt gets first turn unless I can steal initiative. So let's find out if I get to do that. Uh, no, I just get a very, very blurry camera as it focuses there. Two. That's definitely not stealing initiative. So we will see you after the first turn of the independent human faction. Catch you in a minute, guys. Bye. So, end of turn one for the independent human faction, and uh, Matt is going to run us through what happens. So, where do you want to start? Uh, if we start down here. So the last cannon team mm -hmm. um, shot. Sorry, what I should say to begin with is um, we rolled for building destruction, and you'll notice there's a big hole here. I managed to collapse a piece of scenery that was there, um, which gave a nice free run at the assault marines and the tank. So the last cannon team shot at the rhino and immobilised it. Um, all my infantry and the uh, Ogrens here just ran forward just to get in a better position. Mm -hmm. uh, this infantry ran forward. Um, these two uh, tanks fired their battle cannons at the assault marine squad. Uh, the first one scattered wildly off target. The second one hit and managed to kill two of them. Um, this uh, battle cannon shot at the Contemptor. Uh, direct hit, but unfortunately it bounced harmlessly off the armour. Um, the rest of this infantry has just kind of run forward. This infantry moved and ran forward. And the scout sentinels have moved up and shot at the... Um, Contemptor as well and did nothing, they just missed horribly. Um, so, all in all, not bad first turn. I've immobilised the Rhino so I've slowed him down a little bit. Uh, one thing to definitely note for, the, uh, for, the, for this turn, the battle cannon on the Assault Marines managed to hit four of them and wound four, um, but with one of the rule sets that we're playing for using pre hemorrhage configured um, or converted or, or variants of the armors is because these are you know the heresy the heresy sorry the great crusades were the pinnacle of the imperium's technology we've put in a special rule called proven metal which means that anything in mark one two three or up to four as a max gets uh, six up invulnerable just because they are hard so uh, yeah that was that was quite handy <laughs> so uh, yeah that was turn one for the uh, independent human faction. And uh, let's uh, see you guys after the uh, Night Lord's response then. So, Ave Dominus Nox. Okay guys, so Night Lords have just had our first turn and um, it was a little bit mixed. So, um, immobilised Rhino, the squad have just piled out of the side and opened up on uh, what used to be a squad of Genhanced warriors here, um, Ogre models, but Genhanced. Um, so 
a couple of shots from the bolters and the heavy, did a couple of wounds and um, took one guy down to two wounds I believe and uh, the next thing that happened was that the assault squad that was here opened up with the bolt pistols and the plasma pistols, took the one guy away and did a few more wounds, piled into the combat, slaughtered them, lost another two guys but we overran them and wiped them out so the gen enhanced warriors are gone. Um, consolidated six inches with these two remaining guys however as a, as a bit of context for you there's not really anywhere that these two could have gone that's going to keep them alive so in true hard as nails fashion they've just gone piling straight towards somebody else to play with uh, what else did we do the um, terminators just moved up didn't really do a lot else um, in fact I think I forgot to run them as well oh well never mind the contemptor um, tried to make an epic charge at the Sentinels, stumbled as he ran between the two buildings, uh, didn't roll far enough on his run move to get him in range. The assault, uh, sorry, the tactical squad on the side here stayed put um, and opened up on the Sentinel squad, so Laz Cannon and Bolters, and spectacularly, with the entire squad firing, managed one hit which didn't do anything. And for my building collapse, there was a building just here with um, a squad in it. That collapsed, killed four, four um, of the guardsmen inside it. And um, we never tested for that, did we? Never mind, doesn't matter. Um, those remaining six are uh, face down with two of my rather bloodthirsty assault marines there. So a mixed turn, not bad. I've had, had a little result. I've got myself some points there. So I can live with that, and uh, let's get on to the independent human faction turn two, and see what happens there. Catch you in a bit, guys.